Okay, Dale, this is uh, Cedar Hill Drive, our last showing for the day. Uh, so here's the home, flat yard, front entry garage, pretty well off the road. Probably could fit like, I don't know, three or four cars in the driveway. Some good distance in between the houses. Um, the yard's pretty well manicured, taken care of. A little island in the middle of your yard there. Bushes, a little landscaped. Flat yard, like I said, flat. Kind of slopes a little bit to the back, but it's all good. Kind of gives you an idea of the neighborhood. It's the other side of the house, gas and electric. I forgot when this one was built, maybe 2000. I don't have to look. We have the numbers, you got it. Nice little patio, front porch here, you know I mean? Not patio, front porch. Looking out the front door, back right across the street. Now I'm gonna go in. So you walk into uh, hardwood floors in the foyer. Pretty wide entryway. Uh, probably 10 feet wide, eight feet wide. James over there. On the left, you have your formal dining room with coffered ceilings, copper ceilings, chandelier. Pretty big space here. Uh, that over there is a bedroom. He's kind of walking into this uh, dining room here. Just little things on the wall, nothing major. Had pictures, trying to put the holes back together, fill in the holes. So the arch entryway into the living room from the front door. So then on the right, as soon as you come in the front door, there's a bathroom here, full bath, vinyl flooring, single sink, Toilet, just your normal basic bathtub, shower. Looks pretty clean. And then you go across the old hallway into the bedroom on the front side. You have a linen closet right here in between the bathroom and the bedroom. So this is on the front side of the house. It's painted. Kind of darker blue. It is seven o'clock, so it's a little bit. Sun's going down outside. Uh, vaulted ceilings. Basic light, not a fan, just a light. Arched mirror window. Pretty good size walk-in closet here with carpet. Shelves. Okay, so now I'm going back, so there's the front door, walking into a, kind of the great room, living room. It's a nice little walkway. Has a, uh, just a little, probably load-bearing wall right there to walk into. So down there's the laundry room, down the little hallway. Pretty big, great room. Pretty well kept. There was tenants in here, and um, seemed to take a pretty good care of it. Small stain on the carpet. Fireplace, back door. Now on the right is a coat closet, linen closet, and then over here is the master bedroom. Back side of the house, tray ceiling, carpet. Pretty good size bedroom. You know, the dimensions for you on Zillow or Realtor, wherever it was you found it. That's uh, just a little tape coming down. Nothing major. That's something that you're going to ask to be repaired, or maybe not. They don't have to do it, or well, they can do it. Just moisture and humidity. That stuff kind of starts to crack a little bit over the years. Nothing foundational problem. Tile floor in the master bathroom. Turn turn the fan off. Okay, so dual countertops, not granite, just your basic coriander top. Top floor. This is your uh, garden tub. Pretty big garden tub. A little bigger than normal. 
pretty clean on the inside. No major amounts of grout or anything. Pretty good size sink area, cabinet space. A little uh, mood lighting up there. Then over here is your walk-in shower. Oops, sorry. Standard drain, standard shower, a couple of seating areas, place for soap. This over here is the toilet. So mirror, shower, walk-in closet, toilet area. Went into the closet, pretty good size closet. Uh, long, a little narrow, but pretty long. Got double shelving over there. Shelving there, that would be for shoes. That kind of slants. Slants down that way. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video and pick it up on the other side of the house.